Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is time for empties. These are from September and October. Also, I'm getting rid of some things as well. So not a ton of stuff, but there's a little declutter. Um, I usually do those at the end of the empties. Uh, so hang around and see what I'm getting rid of. I don't think I'm going in any order here. I ran out of this moisturizer. This is a Skin and Lab High Barrier Fresh Sun Lotion SPF 50 Plus. Um, so this was really, really nice. I got this off Amazon. This was a Korean brand. Um, it just went on so smoothly and no weird fragrances or anything. I would totally get this again. Um, I think I might. I now use this. This is the Neutrogena Clear Face um, Oil Free Sunscreen in 50, um, SPF 50. And this is good. I just feel like it's a little little too sun blocky you know the formula it's like very a little bit thicker don't know if i love that but it does the job so i'm gonna you know keep using it and i feel like there's like a lot more in here yeah this is 50 mil and this one is 88 mil so it's a little bit more expensive i think i paid like 20 for this but it was really really nice so lightweight no fragrance really went well under makeup so i really recommend the skin and lab high barrier SPF. Moving on with skincare, I used up the Rock or is it ROC? I'm not sure. The Retinol Correction Line Smoothing Daily Serum visibly reduces lines and pores. This was interesting because to me, serums are like more clear. They're a little bit more, a little bit thicker of a certain consistency there. This is, okay, it looks kind of gross, but this felt more like a lotion and it was definitely a little bit more fragranced which i didn't love that but to be honest i did like this product overall i would totally repurchase this one over the one that i have now so even though this does have a little bit of a fragrance and feels more like a moisturizer i don't know i just i like it better it didn't make me break out i felt like it worked well on my skin um i don't think it like got rid of any wrinkles or anything like that but i'm at that age now where like I'm trying to use retinols and go there and try to like, you know, make my skin look as healthy as possible. Um, and I felt like this did a decent job. So if you don't love fragrance and you absolutely hate that kind of a thing, don't get this. And I usually don't love fragrance, but I thought this was a nice product. So it definitely impressed me more over time as I used it. So I would get this again. They go on sale as well. So definitely one I would get again. I used up this Sage V Dry Fast Top Coat. I always have one of these. This is my favorite top coat. Um, and I got through till about here before it started getting sticky. You know, you know how these things get when they kind of reach the end of their life. They just, they're not really as usable, but I think that's pretty good for nail polish to get down that far. So it does the job and it works. And I usually keep my manicures for like almost a full week. And, and usually by day five, six, you'll definitely notice a lot more chipping, but I feel like this definitely makes my manicure last. If you are somebody who switches out nail polish a lot, you might not even need something like this or as heavy duty. I don't even know if I would say this is heavy duty, but it, it keeps my manicure looking pretty decent over the week for the most part. I already repurchased this, so Yes, I would repurchase this. Um, yep, I used up another one of these. I feel like I have one of these emptied out every time I make an empties video. This is the L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up. I use mine in dark brown. Great product. Um, I always have those because my roots come in and I don't always dye my hair in a timely manner. So definitely a good one. I'll repurchase for sure. This was from my Project Pan. So this is the Beekman 1802 Honey Grapefruit uh, body cream it's the sample size or not really a sample size it's more like a travel size it's a nice lotion but i don't like the fragrance of it so i wouldn't get this again even though it was a nice product my sister-in-law got me a whole beekman set and i have a couple of things left that i do want to use that i do like um i don't mind this in like a soap form which i have um or like the other products but the body cream just felt a little too strong for me um, they all have the same scent. It's all honey grapefruit, but yeah, there's something about this because it sits on your skin. Soap you rinse off, but yeah, I would not repurchase this again. I used up this Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods Eau de Parfum. Yep, a little sample there, which actually took me a little bit longer than I wanted it to. It was really hard to spray out this product. You have to literally sit there and like pump this a million times to get it to spritz out, which is really annoying, but um, I powered through and ended up finishing it. So 
yeah, this was okay. It's like a musky vanilla scent. It's a little, I don't know if musky is even the right word. It wasn't like a sweet Bath and Body Works type of vanilla. Maybe musky is the right word. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it was good enough to use, but nothing I would buy at all. Glad I used it up. One less perfume in my collection, even if it is just a sample. I don't want little tiny samples of things everywhere, so yay. And a makeup product. We have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This one was in the shade, hold up, 03 Light Beige. And kind of on this foundation slash concealer type of kick. Before this, I had a Physician's Formula version. Um, and I think I like that one better than this. This wasn't bad. Um, you know, it did its job. It was fine. But I think it broke down a little bit throughout the day. That's what I kind of remember about this. It wasn't too, too bad where I was like, ew. But, you know, it's just, I could, I don't know. It just didn't seem to have the same staying power as the Physician's Formula one that I had before this and maybe if you have really dry skin this would be good and that would be after like a couple of hours of wearing it at the end of my work day so it wasn't like that bad but it was just like something i kind of noticed and i didn't notice as much with the other one i don't know if i would get this again i might if i'm being lazy and i just don't feel like trying a new foundation because i know this matched me pretty well but i did not repurchase it again i went with a lorac foundation this time and yeah, I would probably get the Physician's Formula over this one, to be honest. So the, the chances of me getting this again are probably slim to none, but not totally off the table. I need something that holds up a little bit better. Let's talk about some things that I am decluttering. So this is the OPI 20 candles on my cake. So the 20 candles part was like stamped over a little bit. I always just thought it was called candles on my cake. But anyway, this was one of my favorite of all time nail polish colors. Um, so I'm not getting rid of it because I don't like the color. I'm just getting rid of it because it stinks and the formula is totally off because this thing is ancient, like so old. And if I could make this work and last even longer, I would. But it's just so old now and nail polish thinner is not saving it. It's just beyond its life. <laughs> Way beyond, like 10 times over beyond its life. So again, such a beautiful color. And this is actually kind of difficult to replicate because it doesn't look that unique, like when you look at it, but it's a beautiful um, type of red. It's like a cream red, but it has a little bit of pink in there. So it's not just like a flat basic red. It's just so great just the perfect mix of being wearable but a little bit dressy and not too too bold but stands out it was it's perfect and if they still made a color like this i would totally snatch it up but i haven't really found now mind you i haven't really looked really hard but you know when i pass things in the drugstore or at target or whatever i can never find this type of a shade so i will have to look into that but uh, I mean, I'm not looking to repurchase this right now, but I definitely would repurchase this in a heartbeat if I could find it again. I have a feeling that if they do still sell this, it's probably really expired as well because this is from one of their really early lines. <laughs> definitely used more than half of this, so I'm really happy with the use I got on it. I'm really, really sad though, but at the same time, I have more than enough nail polish to... I had to shift it because of the glare. I have so many nail polishes to keep me entertained, and I haven't even had much time or energy to paint my nails these days, so... Uh, not an emergency to repurchase that, but it will always remain one of my favorites. I am decluttering this Head & Shoulders Supreme Exfoliating Scalp Scrub. I was having like, not dandruff, but like dry scalp, um, which was probably exacerbated by hair dye. I do think this works in terms of exfoliation but I just think it's too much and really drying for my hair. So it kind of cancels out the benefits. Like I want something that's gonna exfoliate my scalp but not dry out the hair. You know, like I don't need to have that side effect. <laughs> I only use this maybe five times max. It's down to here. Um, so I don't know how much it had, like if it was filled all the way to the top or not. Right now I'm okay just using shampoo and just doing what I normally do, like, you know, with my fingers, massage my scalp. I think that's going to have to work for now. I have a scalp oil product that also works, I think. Um, so I'm just going to let this go because I don't want my hair to be more dry than it kind of already is, you know, being color treated and all that stuff. I felt like it kind of stripped my hair a bit, so not, not friendly for 
you know, dyed hair at all. Okay, what else are we getting rid of? This is the Nair Hair Remover Face Cream, and this just expired. It didn't start smelling bad or anything. It just stopped working or being as effective. I've had it for a really long time. I use it like right here. I really don't need to use this more than every two weeks. So it does hang out. I never get to finish these things completely before they just stop being effective. So I just end up repurchasing the same thing, which I did. Um, the same thing did happen though with the Sally Hansen one that I had. So I think it's just one of those things where they just stop being effective the older that they get. I don't know if there's any like better alternatives besides maybe waxing, which I don't feel like doing waxing. That kind of freaks me out a little bit. But it is a good product though. I'm also decluttering this shower mesh sponge. I decided to go with a much slimmer, less poofy silicone scrubber thing. Um, and I've been really liking that. It's just like much slimmer and easier to travel with compared to this. Also, I feel like the silicone brush is a lot more hygienic. So happy to get rid of this, even though I've been using these for years. And last, I am decluttering the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush, the E40. There was a time period on YouTube where everybody, the beauty gurus had a brush like this or similar to this. Um, but I suspect that this is not the same version of that brush. The one I was seeing on YouTube was definitely much thicker than this and I felt bigger. It's like a cheaper, dinkier version. I mean, it's an okay brush for what it is, but it's not the E40 that I thought it was gonna be. I definitely don't think it was the same brush it was supposed to be. And I did see that online as well. It's supposed to be really good for like blending out, which is, isn't bad at that, but I just wanted the brush that I was supposed to get. Gonna get rid of this and bring my brush inventory down by one because Lord knows that number needs to come down. So yeah, thank you guys um, for watching this video. If you do like this type of content, uh, do consider liking and subscribing, but giving you a heads up, I don't post every week these days. It's more like twice a month. I know it's not a whole lot, but it's the best I can do with work and just how life has been going lately. So I will talk to you guys later. See you in the next one. Bye.